Euh, salut, moi c'est Phil, j'ai 12 ans, bientôt 13. Je rentre au secondaire puis je capote bien raide. Pas juste à cause du secondaire, mais tout ce que je lis sur les réseaux sociaux parle d'intelligence artificielle. Sérieux, ça commence à m'angoisser. Et ce que l'IA va remplacer tous les jobs. Let's put the numbers on the table here. Uh, the minimum wage in California today is $20 an hour. The projected price per hour for operating a humanoid robot is going to be $1 an hour. Um, at a base cost, it's $0.40 cents an hour, but at maintenance and electricity and everything else on it, insurance, it's a buck an hour. And this arbitrage between a dollar an hour for a GPT-5 level, Grok-4 level humanoid robot that operates 24-7 compared to a, you know, a teenager from California, uh, it, there's just no comparison. Un robot à 40 cents de l'heure, puis bientôt de moins en moins cher. My God! Et moi qui voulais programmer des jeux plus tard. Mes parents m'ont souvent dit que programmeur, c'était un job d'avenir. Turn the subject to coding because I've seen a number of people out there. Imad on the abundance stage said this a number of years ago, you know, in five years, there are going to be no more coders. And so learning to code traditionally, right? Uh, people are saying is now dead. Don't teach your kids to code. Uh, Dave, what do you think about that? And we're in a transition point right now where uh, if you want to build industrial strength software, you still need to code. But you know it's going to be game over within, an, you know, certainly within 2025, and then everything will move to vibe coding. But the the good bet right now is to build whatever comes easily through vibe coding. Don't even look at the code. If it doesn't do what you want it to do, just wait. Because as soon as you get in there and try and debug it, you know, one of our companies, Blitzy here, writes three million lines of code in a single night. Wow. So three million lines of code that that'd be three hundred million dollars worth of R and D that would have taken you three years if you had three hundred million dollars lying around. And you got it in a single night. And if you say, well, it doesn't do exactly what I want it to do. Let me start debugging it. <laughs> like, uh, how <laughs> You're do you dead. debug three million lines of code? You're dead. <laughs> so what you do instead is you just you just keep talking to it and you know, fix the modules you can through voice. Uh, and then just wait a couple months and the rest will get fixed. C'est malade, hein? Puis je commence à peine mes recherches. Mais si l'école est supposée me préparer pour le futur, qu'est-ce que je devrais y apprendre d'abord? I will say there are four things that that need to be uh, educated. The first and very straightforward one is jump into AI. Okay, you have to learn this. This is the biggest shift in human history. Uh, this is the biggest, you know, change in the tools that we uh, that we use to navigate the world. Number two is I would say that in the age of the rise of the machines, the only skill that will remain is human connection. Mm -hmm. The only skill, in my personal view, that will uh, be valuable when the machines outsmart us in everything. Number three is is sad when I say it, but we need to teach them resilience. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and resilience not just because of AI. As a matter of fact, as I said, I don't know if we said that last time, but I say it repeatedly. We are at a perfect storm. Perfect storm. I mean. Uh, if you just think about the world finances and economics, there's never been a better match in history to the times of the Great Depression than today. I mean, if you look at school, it's opposite of what it takes to be successful in real life. Don't make a mistake. Do as you're told. Take tests by yourself. Don't cooperate. Do it by yourself. Do it on your own. And there's only one right answer. No, there's tons of answers to a, a problem. So you come out of school scared to death of making a mistake. You do everything on your own. You don't cooperate. There's no synergy. There's no brainstorming. And there's only one right answer. Everybody wants to get the right answer. There's no one right answer. I think we should put a lot more importance on the critical critic and on the importance of the role of education for the development intellectuel de la personne et non pas pour cocher des cases et avoir des bonnes notes. Je guide des, des, des jeunes chercheurs, puis ce que je recherche, ce que j'essaye de les aider à se développer, c'est leur capacité à, à réfléchir eux-mêmes aux problèmes, à, 
à raisonner, à, à imaginer des solutions aux, aux problèmes. C'est un acte créatif et c'est un acte actif. L'enseignement a été tel que j'ai perçu moi d'abord comme élève, puis que ce que j'ai vu beaucoup à l'université, c'est du bourrage de crâne en grande partie. Oui. Puis, d'une certaine manière, ces nouveaux outils d'intelligence artificielle euh, nous empêche de, 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 de se limiter à ça. Et peut-être vont nous forcer la main là, à aller travailler plus sur le côté, faire sortir les idées de la tête de nos, de nos élèves, de nos étudiants. Ça ne sert absolument à rien d'apprendre par cœur. Peut-être qu'à une époque, ça, ça, ça avait son utilité, mais aujourd'hui, justement, on a... Internet, on, on a des outils d'intelligence artificielle, on a des engins de recherche. C'est la compréhension qui émerge de l'acte de vraiment prendre le temps d'y penser, de s'imbiber de quelque chose et de se poser soi-même les questions, d'essayer d'y répondre, d'entreprendre de, un dialogue avec d'autres personnes sur ce sujet-là. Ça, c'est comme ça que, que se développent notre, notre, nos capacités à tous les niveaux. Je pense que la science présentée comme si c'était biblique tue ce qui est à la base chez les enfants de curiosité, de volonté, de découverte, de mettre la main à la pâte. De tous poser des questions. De poser des questions, de douter. Euh... Tout ce que je vois sur Internet, ça tourne autour des compétences. Pensée critique, euh, créativité, collaboration. Mais moi, dans mon horaire cette année, je vois surtout maths, Français, science, y a-tu juste moi qui comprends pas? Avec tout ce que je viens de voir, est-ce que quelqu'un pourrait m'expliquer comment je suis censé développer ces compétences dont j'aurais vraiment besoin? How far are we from what I'm hoping we'll see, which is I enter into a metaverse, into a virtual world, and Aristotle is sitting on a piece of marble over there. Uh, and that AI of that NPC is all knowledge about Aristotle. So when I speak to Aristotle, it's as if I'm speaking to Aristotle. And I say, can you show me around and, and, and tour me? And I learn about ancient Greece through that conversation. Yeah, I, I mean, um, I would say 95% of what you just described is not a research effort anymore. It's just an engineering effort. But the age of static curricula is, is dead. I think the teacher of the future is really going to make their classroom an amazing experience, like truly experiential learning. They might use the AI, hey, everyone, we're going to talk to Zeus this morning. Let's you know, get your questions together, special guest. Or if a student says, why do I need to learn this? It says, like, well, what are you interested in? And I really see for the teacher, the AI becomes like a, an army of teaching assistants, which every teacher would love to have. That's going to be the fun of the teacher, which is uh, be the conductor of the orchestra. How much do you think education for kids will change in the next 10 years with AI? <laughs> In the next 10 years, everyone's going to have a tutor in their pocket that you're going to be able to uh, engage with pretty deeply. You're going to be able to get you know, proof that you have skills that are going to be valuable for folks, and hopefully you can get automatically connected to experiences, jobs, internships. I've never been more bullish that you know, by the time you're 19 years old, your peers and your children are going to be like, wow, we were living in the dark ages at a time where like, not everyone had access to their potential. Le futur a l'air super cool, mais... On s'y prépare vraiment en ce moment? Quand l'IA deviendra super intelligente, est-ce que les profs Non, pas ça. Est-ce que l'école aura toujours sa place? Est-ce que quelqu'un... Non. Est-ce que mon école a réfléchi à ça? Pas de résultat. Tu me niaises-tu?